day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rana Beer Review. We're looking at a GLB beer, which means what? It means... Yeah, it means that Greg sent it. Thank you, Greg. Burst. GLB Burst. A New England Pale Ale. So it looks like it's a fighter jet that shot a missile, and then the missile burst. 4.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, what do we got here? Ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat, oats, hops, and yeast. <sighs> Our planet, under threat by unseen enemies, such as bland tasting gear, is once again saved by the hop rockets of our unsung hero. Okay. Well, less funny than a lot of their stuff. And, I mean, in 2020, bland, tasteless beers are the least of my worries. Actually, I kind of hope for bland, tasteless beers right now because... It's really the only beers I can get. There we go. It's a Tank 10 series beer. Boom! Hazy, crazy, oh my golly! Beautiful color. I mean, that's a beautiful brassy color. Hazy, crazy. Right way head. There is a snap, crackle, pop to that head. Scent. Pineapple, orange, orange peel, grapefruit, grapefruit peel, and urine. I was watching a lot of British shows recently, and whenever they said urine, it was urine, and it's just it's stuck in my head. What do you have to do? I have to urinate. Urinate. Urine. Urine. Urination. It, 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 urination. Urination? Just, it doesn't, it doesn't sound right to me. Cheers, let's try the beer. It's a beer. It's a beer. It's drinkable. It's grapefruity. It's orangey. It has some pineapple to it. It's very juicy. Um, doesn't have that rind taste to it. Doesn't have that that overpowering hop bitterness to it. It's, it's it's fairly straightforward. It's juicy, and that's that's about it. I like this. I do. Medium mouthfeel, but I would almost expect a little bit more with the oats and wheat in it. I'd expect a little heavier mouthfeel. My curiosity is, is this legitimately, is this legitimately cloudy or did they use flour or gypsum to get the cloud to it? Because some craft breweries in Ontario, some craft breweries around the world do that. It is a trick that's used. And sometimes that's why some of the ingredients will say some of the things they say, uh, because they don't want to tell you it's flour in there, but they have to tell you something, right? Um, my favorite was the guy on Instagram that took the pictures at Collective Arts of the big, big bags of flour. It's like, what are they doing with this? And that's when everybody that, that had been drinking all their really cloudy IPAs that just kind of switched in their head and they're like, oh my God, we just figured out how they're cloudy. Not that, not that that really matters, does add to the caloric intake of the beer and stuff, but I'm a 275 pound man. It's not like I really care all that much about calories. I did go from 320 when I left my, well, when me and my ex-wife left down to about 230. And then I ballooned back up to about 295 and now I'm sitting at about 275. I average on a day between 271 and 275. That seems to be my, uh, 
seems to be my hard uh, barrier to, because everybody has plateaus, right? They do good and then they plateau, then they do good, then they plateau. Well, I'm on one of my plateaus right now, and it's not like when I was losing my weight the first time when I lost my over my almost hundred and some pounds. I had gyms and stuff to go to. I don't have that now. And why am I talking about this? We're drinking a beer, right? We're doing a beer review and I'm going off tangent again. Again. It's a fine beer. I can't say anything bad about it. It's juicy. It's easy drinking. It's wet. It's lower ABV, which is what I like. I know it's not what Greg likes, but it's what I like. I could drink a ton of these. I get these cold, I could just trudge them back. Um, out of 10, I'm going to give this an 8. I actually really do quite enjoy this. Thank you guys. Cheers. Burst. Bye.